Okay, done it again. This is my flea market find, a Dan Cook Danish Grill. at a flea market for $80. Marine, marine grade stainless steel. It's got flaps at the top up here. I'll bring you over here and let you look at it. It's all marine grade stainless steel, so it should hold up pretty good. And for the price, you can't hardly beat it. So I'm going to fire it up in a little bit and do some chicken, and we'll see how this thing turns out. So hang with me. Let's cook some chicken. Break this thing in. Thanks for watching. Cook it with Kim. One problem I found this grill doesn't have a thermostat so that might be our first mod to put a thermostat on here but it's heating up real nice and we'll throw the chicken on and go from there all right I got my chicken ready see if you can see that it's just olive oil and I use some of this bad Byron's just butt rub just a simple chicken I'm gonna throw it on here and cook it in direct heat just to give this grill a test run here to about halfway it's got holes on the bottom look like stay open all the time so anyway let's get started all right of course it got dark but see if you can see this it's testing in about one I just used a little bit of charcoal too Testing in about 170. Look at that, would you? It really charted up pretty good. It's a good looking chicken. We'll go in there and slice it up and see what it looks like. The chicken turned out good. Maybe that stainless steel retains a lot of heat because it did not use much charcoal. Had a real good crust on it, but the chicken was tender. Had good flavor. So if you had a flea market, you never know what you're gonna find. If you run up on a Dan Cook, buy it. Yeah, especially if you're living in an apartment or a small area, this grill does not take up much space. So, anyway, thanks for watching Cooking with Camp. Keep on cooking. Have a good one. Uh -huh. 